Hello friends! Today, I will discuss about video on how to love, understand with a person who has the differences. And the title is Love, Accept, and Understand. Every time as I see a couple or a family uh, with the differences, whether they are married or just facing a boyfriend, girlfriend, or relationship, or a sibling uh, with the differences. Just like me, I have a little sister who has a disability. And I am in a state, uh, I am trying my best to show love to her even though there are times that my patience got knocked off. I admit that my patience is too short of showing how to show my love to her because she's a demanding person or in other words, she's makulit, uh, demanding, uh, obsessive compulsive when it comes to things that are disorganized. But I am proud of her because she wants everything to be fixed and well. So, in a relationship, in the matter of this relationship with uh, your sister who has a disability, you have to treat her as a normal person. I'm thinking of her as a normal person. What am I doing is first, I have to open my mind with each other. I have to open my mind and understand her uh, disability, but I don't. Uh, I don't treat her as an abnormal person. I treated her as a normal. I love her so much. Uh, I have to talk to her and see things uh, from the perspectives. I am engaged. Uh, I am engaging her to praise and worship with me. And I'm sharing what I have learned to her. Uh, number two is touch therapy. I am touching her. Uh, but I should do it lightly because she is always mad at me if I'll touch her uh, hard. Uh, she's telling me, Masakit! Dapat tawakan mo ko sa shoulder! Not uh, in uh, cheeks! Hold me on her shoulder! That's what she's always telling me. Uh, num after which I have to assure her that I love her because if I don't ah she will be sad um, always say that I love you if they com uh, and if they commit mistakes never uh, put it into her that it's all her fault tell it to her lightly that this is not right next time we have to fix it and tell her that I forgive you if she says sorry she's already forgive because God is always forgiving us in all our mistakes uh, second to the last is do not condemn each other do not blame each other on the mistakes that what have you done in the past and always forgive each other and always forget uh, what have you done for the past few months few years and last, lastly, you should always take the initiative to speak with her and set an example to her that things are right. Uh, I mean, set an example to her that you should things right and well. Because if she saw you how to do things wrongly, she will imitate you. So, take initiative to do things right. Always remember, love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It is, does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. Love bears all things, hopes all things, believes all things, endures all things. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 to 8. I'm John Naclero. I'm sharing the video so that 
all of us can be patient to our older siblings or younger siblings who has a disability. And always remember, love one another as Jesus loves us.